Today, there is only one rule. If your heart rate goes outside of zone four, you lose. The last runner standing is the winner. Three, two, one, go! I'm not gonna get carried away, look at them, look at them. So the rules are simple here. It's not a case of how far or how fast you run. It's simply staying within zone four. So not going into five and not dropping into three. Oh no! If you do it, you can make one mistake. <laughs> the second mistake and you are out. Don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. We are measuring this by the heart rate reserve method in the Garmin Connect app. So competitors stay within zone four or you lose a life, and then it's all over. Usually, I know what time I'm running. I know what my splits are gonna be. But here, it's about keeping a consistent heart rate instead of keeping average splits. I've never done this before. I don't know, I've got a good feeling about this. I've never run on track before. I've never run to my heart rate before, but typical James, overconfident his own abilities. I reckon I got this. Well, I don't got this, but I'm definitely going to beat that one. It looks like Sarah's winning, but remember, she's not winning. She's just in her heart rate zone. Garmin just came up saying my performance condition is plus two, which is good check me out I am where I want to be I'm 179 when I start talking to you my heart rate goes up so if I lose I think that's your fault I think the aim of the game my tactics for this is basically just stay in the middle of the zone that way if I drop my game and I get a bit slower or I get a bit faster that's not gonna happen I've got a buffer either way. Tell you what though, guys, I'm glad we're not doing this in zone five because that would be disgusting. Oh, so zone four, it's like tempo threshold pace. So technically, it's the pace you should be able to keep up for about an hour. <laughs> that mixed with nerves, I'm not sure how well that will work for me. I'm on the cusp of going too high. Maybe it's the talking. What's your heart rate? What's your heart rate? Cass is at 170. I want to go faster, but I want to win the challenge. I know Sarah is so competitive. However, I would love to debut with a challenge win. I'm already almost in zone five. I got too excited about starting the race. Okay, gotta slow. Gotta slow down. Think calming thoughts. I'm on, oh, shit. I'm on a track, not on a beach. Okay, I'm gonna slow. I'm gonna slow right down. Oh God. I got really excited there. You know, in my head, I'm like, ooh, wouldn't it be fun to lap James? But I need to control my excitement because even just thinking about that put my heart rate up by one BPM. This feels like the film speed where the bus can't slow down or speed up. Oh, hello there. Freddie, the Running Channel videographer here. Just a quick editor's note. Those of you cinema aficionados will have noticed that Anna's description for the plot for Speed, the 1994 American action thriller starring Keanu Reeves, Sandra Bullock and Dennis Hopper, wasn't quite accurate. The bus could speed up and it could slow down. It just couldn't go under 50 miles an hour. Pop quiz, hot shot, back to the action. More 162. Whew. Come on. So, overly confident James from before. He's gone. He's long dead. This is so much harder than I thought it would be because my heart rate just seems to flick by about 10 beats per minute. And I cannot keep it in a steady pace. Oh, look, there he is. 
Mr. Cop out. Look at that cadence. Oh, I've hurt, I've hurt my knee. I can't run. From Hartley. Beautiful. Oh, thanks, mate. Incredible. She's like a gazelle. I'm basically walking. I'm, I'm fast walking. Let's see if I can do it speed walking. Oh, I've got it. Speed walking. Oh, Paris Olympics, here I come. There's a mass slowdown from James. Okay. There's Rick okay. and the running there channel is. team. Look at him. Look at him. Give them a wave, Look at him. but mustn't get my heart rate up. He, he literally looks like he's popping out to buy milk. Let's get that heart rate down. I feel like I'm about to be overtaken. She's coming. She's coming. Which way raise my heart rate because the stress of her looming overhead. I can see Anna and James across the other side of the track forming a little Bessie Mates situation. Oh. Have they lost some lives though? I'm trying to look, but they're literally on the opposite side of the track. I wonder if they're still doing, you know, good filming etiquette of arm out, bit of headroom, nice shot, or whether it's become like this because they're dying. Hey, pal. Hey. How easy is this? Really, really don't swear. Really hard. No. Oh my God. So <laughs> easy. They're talking so much. They just look too comfortable. I think we should have made this zone five. No one's lost a life yet. You're all gonna be heading, edging towards zone five. Hello. Oh my gosh. It's Sarah Hartley. On your right. Oh On my gosh. Right. Resist, Orcasa. Resist. Resist the temptation. Resist the temptation. Resist. Resist. There's one it's of the It's not about laps. being the hair. Today's about being the heart rate tortoise. To quote Andy Badley in the Monopoly challenge, I spy some reprobate. I don't actually know what that word means. But I can see Anna and James. <coughs> oh, I'm getting close to the top now. Oh, look at lane etiquette. Lane etiquette. You <laughs> Really? That's all right, I like lane six. All right, show off. So before we started filming, I said on the track, I would do more laps than Sarah. She's just lapped me. So, hi Anna. Hello, oh, hi. Yeah, go on. I'm gonna catch her. Go on, off you go, James. This catch her. challenge in the challenge. I think this is worth losing over. The moral victory will be mine. No one else would agree with that, but oh god, I can't even I can't even get up to her without losing a life. Tell you what, this would be such a good challenge to do if you've got like a best mate who runs, but you're not necessarily the same pace, so you can't run together. Because if you do it on a track, it still feels so competitive and you're still running together, but you don't have to be the same pace. So we're getting to the business end of the action here on the track in South London and the conditions are beginning to change too. The sun has just emerged from behind the deep grey clouds, which has actually caused a massive shift in temperature. We've gone from about eight or nine degrees to around about 14 or 15, quite a short period of time. And although no one's lost a life yet, we can hear think calming thoughts oh no i've lost the life oh no yeah oh no you've heard that live sarah's just lost a life james this is two beats a minute away from losing a life okay things are really heating up here now she's now behind me which means i'm winning and that's that's the real story to take away from today. James beat Sarah. Thank you and good night. You can click off now.
think they're all gonna fall about the same time. They're gonna be like toy soldiers. I was running too fast. My heart was going too fast. I've got to slow my pace down to get back into that heart rate zone. Breaking, Akasa has just lost a life. So that's Sarah and Akasa have now lost a life. They lose another one and they're out. I'm confused as to how James is 200 meters ahead of me by trying to catch up with Sarah, but yet he hasn't lost a life. One more beat and I'm out. I'm out of a life. That's me. James down to one life. Anna, the only athlete on the field with two lives left. Incredible scenes here in South London. I need to slow down. 175. Slow down. Slow, slow down. down. I need to slow. I need to slow. 176. Big car. Oh, gone over. Oh, man. Akasa is out of the race. We're down to three. Akasa. Yes, sir. It just goes to show that running is as much about your head as it is about your heart. So, there are three of us left. I am definitely looking the worst for wear at the moment. Manage is over there. Still a minute. She's got like a steady pace, she's disciplined. And Sarah just keeps getting faster. I think she's cheating. Check the data when we get back. Not that I'm a sore loser or anything, but me, I'm teeteringly close to the end of, oh God, stop. Oh, and I'm out. Ah! Calm down, calm down, calm down. James is out. Don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. Whoa. Whoa. <sighs> uh, uh. Shh. 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 Come on. Calm down. Oh, I got too excited. Damn it. <sighs> uh. Just two women left in the race. Anna and Sarah. Sarah down to her last life. Anna still on two lives left. So it's me versus Sarah. Sarah's training for a 5K. I'm training for a marathon. Does that mean anything? Do I have better endurance? I but I have got two lives and she's only got one. I mean, the moral victory, no, it doesn't go to me either. I reckon. I reckon Sarah's got it. You think? She's increasing her pace each lap by the looks of things and she's really? just absolutely breezing past. Well, Look, thank breezing you. past Anna right now. I can't speak. Have you got one life left? Two. Oh, she's got two lives. Don't get carried away by running after Sarah. Phew, we're good. Anna has complete control of her heart. She just seems to be able to squeak it up, squeak it down. She's like a hamster. Very consistent, just running on that wheel. Let's play games. Let's overtake again. I think I've got it. After all, see the hard work now. Pain is temporary. Oh no! That's it. Sarah looks like she's slowed down. <laughs> she is our winner! Oh, I've just got over my marks. <laughs> Sarah here coming in. She looks like a disappointed figure. And I've got to say, she was consistent. She was strong, but she tipped over the edge and she went into zone five. That was her second foray into number five and she's gone. Sarah. Great to see you. You're incredible as a competitor out there. Fantastic to watch. Uh, you, you must be gutted. It's not great to see you, Rick. I'm not going to lie. Wow. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I was literally coming around that corner saying, you won. You won. Just... Keep running, Anna. Keep running. This is, this is we're still alive. 
You've got, you got, you got, you got nothing, have you? I've got, You've got nothing. nothing. I think that was harder than most people thought, Anna. Do you? I've, yeah. I found it quite easy, actually. Uh, you know? yeah, okay. They are outraged. I think they found it quite hard. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. How about you guys at home? Have you ever used the Garmin heart rate alert feature? Or maybe you're going to try using it now that you've seen us do this challenge. Let us know in the comments below. And we'll see you next time here on The Running Channel.